Hi, my name is Stephen and in this video I am going to tell you what is the difference between augmented reality and virtual reality and how you can get started developing applications on both of these. Coming up. So first we are going to talk about the virtual reality. The term virtual reality is not new and it comes back all the way from 1962 when it was first used in Hollywood. From then till now it has taken a really long period to reach to the audience because now internet and technology is accessible to everyone. Now if you'll see virtual reality consists of two words virtual and reality. The virtual actually means that something that does not exist or appears to exist. Uh, so uh, let us take an example. A virtual reality involves a headset. I mean you wear a headset right and uh, you place a phone inside it and if you watch you're into a world that does not exist. When you wear that headset you get into a world that has nothing to do with the external environment. Once you wear that you're totally into a new environment and you cannot interact with the real-time environment. I mean if you're sitting on a table right and there's a chair in front of you and if you're wearing a headset you cannot interact with the table because you don't get to see it you're totally cut off from the real environment so virtual reality is actually a new world where you get in and interact with that new world you have nothing to do with the real environment now there are many headsets in the market uh, one of the most common one would be your uh, google cardboard that would cost you something around uh, $5. Also, there's one quite high-end headset that's Oculus. They have some very good uh, ear earphones that would give you sound and all that stuff. So even, even YouTube has many uh, VR videos. If you just go there and search VR videos, so you can actually view them. So even to view these uh, VR videos, you need to have a gyroscope in your phone. That's actually hardware uh, that actually tracks your movement. Say suppose I wear a headset, right? I start a VR video on my phone. The, f uh, the phone screen actually splits into two half and I have two lenses in my VR headset. When I place it and I wear it and I look around, I can actually get a 360 degree view. And once I get into that environment, I cannot interact with the external environment, right? It appears to be that I'm in an environment, right? but that is entirely digital, that does not exist. So uh, virtual reality uh, is quite cheap as compared to augmented reality where it is very, very expensive. So uh, even if you uh, live around in Delhi, you can buy it very cheaply for something around 300 rupees uh, Indian currency from some very local market or you could also buy some quite high level Oculus uh, headset. But I would prefer that if you're getting started move into this uh, quite cheap cardboard based uh, VR headset. Now let's move into augmented reality. Now augmented actually means adding something. Now suppose one of the very good example of augmented reality is your Microsoft HoloLens. What it does that it places an object in your real time environment. To give an example, uh, I believe most of you have played the Pokemon Go game. So what happens, you take your camera, you take your phone camera and when you look through the screen, you can find a Pokemon standing in front of you. So what is that? You see a real time environment through your camera and there's an object augmented in your, in your real time environment. So it means adding something or enhancing your environment. Now, there are many possibilities with uh, augmented reality. Uh, uh, companies and corporates have been using both in the medical healthcare, uh, your 3D printing and even uh, companies like furniture, they use it for uh, to give better experience to the customer. Now, say suppose to get an example, uh, I need to buy a bed. So what I would do is I would take out my camera and I would place a bed in my room right and then take my camera and go across 360 degree to view how my bed will actually look in that room all right so it actually adds an uh, object or adds a uh, object in your real-time environment and also 
since it does not take you to a different new world you can also interact with your real time environment so suppose if i've placed a bed right you see a bed through your phone's camera you can also hear what is going outside you can also see the other space so you're not taken into an entire new world just like the virtual reality so of course augmented reality is the enhancement of the virtual reality so is the price i mean uh, augmented reality is very very expensive hololens or magic leap for an example these are quite an expensive devices whereas google cardboard is almost like $5 so of course uh, augmented reality is an uh, quite high level technology than the virtual reality but that does not mean uh, virtual reality is of not good importance everyone has their own uh, market and uh, usability and applications now let's move into how you can get started with it now this section uh, may be uh, liked by the guys who want to develop the applications right so if you want to develop the virtual uh, reality based applications one of the very good platform to get started is the a frame right just google a frame so what it does is that it helps you create a web vr based applications like you can develop a website that's based on uh, augmented reality it is very simple if you know html programming language and it's going to be very very easy for you uh, in the later part, it involves um, some JavaScript and CSS. But to get started, uh, A-Frame is quite easy. Now let's come about the augmented reality. Now uh, there are many tutorials on YouTube. One of the uh, quite famous one that you will find is creating a augmented reality application based on uh, Unity. So Unity is actually a game engine and you use an external library that's called Vuforia, right? You use Vuforia uh, with the Unity to develop augmented reality based applications. So just to summarize, if you want to go with the uh, augmented reality, go for the A-frame. And if you want, want to go to the uh, augmented reality, go with the Unity and Vuforia. But if you develop application with Unity and Vuforia, that will be only for gaming purpose, right? That will be only meant for gaming purpose, but if you want to do the same with the uh, uh, websites that you want to make a website that's uh, augmented reality uh, there's a javascript library that's called ar.js right you can use that and start making applications so but to summarize this video uh, virtual reality uh, is uh, is actually uh, getting into a, a digital space whereas augmented reality is adding the digital objects in your real-time environment. Virtual reality is quite cheap. Augmented reality is very expensive. Uh, virtual reality is reachable to almost everyone, whereas augmented reality is yet a part of R&D and need to reach its potential. That's all from this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the video. My name is Stephen Simon. See you in the next video. Thank you.